Okay. What is good, guys? We are back with more World Cup. We got a TDK for USS and Obliviate playing for Germany. Gotta switch sides, rooting for Germany. Score is 2 and 1 for Germany at the moment. So we do see interesting balance team from Obliv. They both yeah. have Tangrowth. Um, <coughs> Mew's gonna be. If the Mew doesn't have knockoff, um, a lot of Merrick can take advantage of the Mew and can come in on that. But the TDK is probably gonna be doubling around, not let, not wanting to give the Merrick free switch ins. Um, the Merrick is gonna be Stellarfox probably, which is interesting. He doesn't have another Stellarfox user. Yeah. Uh, I guess this is uh, rocks. Um, this is rocks, Marowak with yeah. Shadow One, Flare Blitz, and um, prob I think Wisp. Uh, he was thinking of running Rest as last move, but I I, I told him that Wisp would be better. Uh, and yeah, I think he's uh, or Wisp or Bone Marang is what he's running as his last move on Marowak. And so yeah, on TDK's team, I'm thinking it's uh, potentially. Uh, Potentially, um, the electric move Majuna to weaken, to weaken Salasila for Pinsir. Mm, yeah. Because he has like Tangros plus Caldia plus Mew, which is like enough stuff to check Greninja. So I don't think the Majuna has to be assault with on this team. Yeah, he might just go for Earthquake. Not wanting to play around with this Majuna. Um, if he yeah. has, if he has HP fire, that's an option because HP fire hits Majorna and hits Pinsir, goes in the Marowak. Wow. Oh. Yeah, I think uh, Marowak. I'm pretty sure Marowak hits eats one hit because uh, this is max HP and max attack. It should be able to live one. Um, one. Man, there's an echo in the back. Let me see Pinsir. Uh, like I'm pretty sure I don't have to run the calc. Like Earthquake is going to do around 80. It's my head calc. Like something like that. Wait, there's still Shadow's game for World Cup. I'm pretty sure he's not in anymore. Yeah, never mind. Yeah. Okay. He so he was not out. willing to um let his he was not willing to let his pincer go down <laughs> for damage on Merrick. He so we see a uh, fire punch, which pretty much confirms that it's gonna be lightning rod. Because if you want flare bits, you would have um. Yeah, he would have a rocket. Yeah, the other ability. <laughs> But that is a good chunk to the Kelly, so I don't, this might be Scarf Kelly with minus defense nature. Like, I might have to run the cult, but like, that just seemed like a lot yeah, of damage. Because. Uh, oh, Ooh, there's a usually, toxic miss. <laughs> okay, that's. That's kind of crucial, I he guess. He was pretty in the uh, Mantine slash Tangrowth there. Yeah, this is. This is. Uh, physically defensive Tangrowth. Oh. So it's to take on stuff like. Lopani, um, is Lopani allowed this round? Oh, it's not allowed. My no, bad. no, Lopani is not allowed. My bad, yeah. It's for, it's for stuff like DD Zygarde. Gets a crit on the land, wow, that's, that hex, that's some annoying hex. But, uh, we take those. We got a root for Germany. So I'm thinking it's HPI's knockoff sleep powder Giga Drain, maybe? Yeah, um, it is. And this yeah. Thing, uh, this Landris is probably gonna not want to take the HPI. So I think I can see him pivoting into Pinsir, or like, I don't think it's worth it for TDK to get up rocks and take a HPI to the face. Yeah, he was not staying in there. Mm -hmm. so he goes he's, into the Pinsir. He's gonna go Celestia here. Uh, Pinsir could be a threat if he somehow manages to like uh, remove the Celestia, but uh, that doesn't look. Um. Oh yeah, an Oblivious team, I think it's uh, Scarf Tapu Lele. Yeah, it is, star um, it is Scarf Tapu Lele. Is he, is he banded or is he move Zygarde? Uh, he's banded Zygarde. Okay, okay. So does he not have his Z-move Mon or is he Z-move Stealer? No, I don't think he has his Z-move okay, okay. Mon. Mm, I don't know, TDK might pull some sort of double here. But he doesn't have that like, much to pressure yeah, Celestila. Like for TDK, uh, I think uh, Celestila is really annoying. 
Yeah. So I think he might have. Oh, well, he's staring because okay, he's he, physically defensive. Yeah, he, so he went for yeah, sleep out and he hit. Holy shit, that eats so well. Oh, it's left. He says not helmet. Okay. Yeah, that's definitely the aerial eight nerf coming into play. That was probably low roll too. Like I would have thought, I would have done it at like eighty five, maybe seventy four. That seems like zero damage. Yeah, but, that, but but that's still that's still base one fifty five. Not sure if he's wondering if he's gonna try to burn a sleep turn here. He's probably gonna switch. Oh. I I think yeah I think Oblivion is gonna go on into like Marowak because that's that puts up the most offensive pressure. Oh. Yeah, TDK shouldn't go into land if he has a potential HPI, so Marowak should be fine. <laughs> the only problem I see is I don't know if Marowak can all go um Tangros. Because TDK might go into Tangrowth. Okay, just stay in. Yeah, he, he's burning his sleep turn. So, mm. I guess that's fine for both players. So. Yeah, he Celestia works as well, but... He might just click I would have wanted the Marwa to... Hmm. Yeah, yeah. Probably clicking Flames right here. Um, wait, what? Why yeah. do you stay in? So he, he's, just, he's just trying to burn the sleep turns. Yeah, I understand it, but now his pencil is getting low. Like how yeah, is he breaking? Like, like, right. like he doesn't need the health on uh, Pinsir for anything. So if he goes in the Mew and gets burnt, the Celestia would get synchronized burnt. And he's probably gonna try to will with something. Um, he can also double outbreak in the Marowak. Mm, wow. That was weird. Mm. Um, I think Oblivia didn't go into Marowak, potentially fearing a knockoff. Okay, th this is Assault Vest for sure, and he burns. Yeah. Oblivion is hacking TDK pretty badly as of right now. Yeah, like X Ray um, played earlier was Shake, and it was two zero for Germany before that, and now it's two and one. So yeah, that was DPP and X Ray. I think he doesn't really play DPP usually, so that was a tough one for him. So this Kelly is so toxic, so he's not gonna be willing to stay in here with his Mantan and. Wow, he stayed in. Wow, holy shit, that was a huge turn. So Oblivion already like in a good position here. <laughs> wow, I would not have stayed in. And wow, now he gets some switches into Sociana Toxic. He looks like an absolute god. He's gonna go for the shit I assume. Oh, he switched. What the fuck? Stop. I don't think. F I don't know if Fire Punch Okos. I don't think it does. Oh. Yeah, I don't think it Okos. Yeah, now he's gonna get knocked off. That sucks. But he gets rid of yeah. the Tangros. So he's like already weakening TDK's team a lot. Yeah. I, I think uh, TDK is looking for a little more uh, damage on... Um, he's going for the Megina sweep, I guess. Late game Megina. Yeah. Gravity. Oh, it might be okay. off, off play the Zemo. Oh, it's left, it was lefties. It was knocked off already, my bad. Um, could still be max attack. Pretty sure Mantan eats one hit. Yeah. But yeah, Fist of Ting is obviously a fine switch. In. I thought he might have gone for rocks there. Um, the Mew's gonna be Defog, so this s should be Rocks Landry, yeah. Like, it's not that he's gonna be Defog and Rocks and the Mew on the same set, like on the same one. They're yeah, just playing it safe there. And he might not want to stay in from Tangrowth because it will take a lot from stuff like Psychic. You might go on a Mantine. Even though this could potentially have Volt Switch. Um, I mean, TDK's team seems a bit annoyed by Toxapex, so I was actually thinking that his Mew would carry Psychic, but he shows Ice Beam that does a lot. I don't know if that was a roll to kill to uh, the Tangles. But now um, Oblivion knows the entire moveset from Mew because it's Ice Beam Softbolt. Uh, probably will always yeah, default. Okay, this, this looks like max HP and um, max defense, but it has gravity. Yeah, that's interesting. So gravity does it raise? Oh no 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 no! That, that, that's that's actually max HP and max attack because I forgot that the club got knocked off. Oh yeah, the club got knocked off, but yeah. I, I think TDK has a, sh a good chance at winning this because of how broken Majorna is. Uh, if he plays this right, I guess he can win. Yeah, you should definitely be theme of on this. Yeah. Um, I have uh, 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 if he is Z uh, electric, then he has a really good chance of winning yeah, this. Yeah, Marag is like important to keep healthy because of the lightning rod. 
Like if Majuna just gets to go and gets a solar boost, it's hard to stop. Um, he might just go for fire punch here, probably. Yeah. It's funny that TDK has a German nickname on his land. Was range for Shadow Bone. Yeah, Shadow Bone was fine because it hits the Kelly harder. But I thought the Majuna is like such a big threat. I mean, he obviously wasn't staying in there, but the Majuna is still a threat. So I thought he would just attack that. The TDK might go for rocks here. Yeah, I guess gravity yeah. helps him so that he doesn't get walled by Steeler, but it doesn't really matter on this matchup since he gets walled by Tangles anyway. Like, I'm pretty yeah, sure. Yeah, that, 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 that's why I would have preferred, like, um, Z move. Z fly on Lando, but uh, he has a Z move on Majorana, I'm pretty I guess. sure so. this is Gigavolt Havoc because his team looks annoyed by Pex and Steeler. Yeah. Uh, th this looks uh, quite similar to John's team. Yeah, do you oh. think it's uh, calm? Oh, it's a Volt. What the fuck? What is it? Is it a Solvest? Is it Voltage Z move or is it a Salt Vest? If it's a Salt Vest, does he not have a Z move mod? I'm confused. Wait, if this is a Salt Vest, then isn't the game over? Uh, it should be over in Obliv's favor, which is really nice. You gotta pick up that win for Team Germany. I mean, it was definitely a bit hexy so far. But we take those, uh, we Like German needs this win really badly, because if it's gonna, if it, if it was two and two after this, like, like East has some, some like, big names like Flaming Victini still coming up later. Yeah, and, jo and John as well. Oh yeah, bro, this is ICG. Man, <laughs> I mean, you can say he looks like a god, but it's kind of obvious that he like, the vault switch on the Mantine, and he just brings in the Lightning Rod Merrick. Funny how Mew can eat that up, but that's the defense drop. I mean, it was about to happen. If you spam softball, if you're on the defensive, uh, if you're on the defensive side, you're gonna get dropped. But he gets it again. Holy shit! <laughs> he definitely trained his Pokemon well. What the fuck? Why is he getting every defense drop? Is he gonna six though? I mean, this yeah. shouldn't have been a 6 though without the hexes. Oh yeah. my god, there's a crit, but yeah, it does not kill. And he, him, oh, his monster still well trained. Like, it's one got crit, but it said, I'm still hitting all my sleep powers. He's just gonna spam Shadow Bone, I guess. And he gets a first turn wake, but this doesn't really matter because he's not recovering anything. Mero go GG. <laughs> I did not expect this, like I definitely expected TDK to win this one. Yeah. But yeah, really nice that Bliviet was yeah, that was a, that, this is the second time uh, TDK is getting six sword in this World Cup. Really? Oh yeah, the first yeah, time was yeah, ICD. ICD mm -hmm. six sword as well. Yeah, wait, yeah. This is not your team, right? Oh no no, this isn't mine. This okay. is uh, Bliviet's spin. Yeah. yeah, so Jeremy's up 3 and 1 now. And we're definitely going to be uh, focusing on the Sun and OU games that are coming up later between uh, PTC, Mency, Flaming, Victini, Relos, and TD, uh, John ICT. And yeah, shout out to BTB, uh, young guest in the call. And we'll see you guys with more World Cup coverage. Bye.